Hello everyone, how you doing today? Alright, so today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to get your JSON file for doing rune optimization with Xandro's tool. It's fantastic, I'm sure you've heard of it. If you haven't and you're serious about Summoner's War, definitely check it out. It's just an absolutely amazing tool for optimizing, making your best monsters, teams, etc. Even just locating runes that have great rolls, maximum efficiency, things like that. It's fantastic. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to get your JSON file, which is the first step for importing that, that data there. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna go over to GitHub and go to Xandro's page. From there, you'll be able to obtain the program. That's the Summoner's War Exporter. So what you do is you come over here and you just download the export is set up for whatever device you're on. For example, I'm on Windows. Um, I've already done this. So downloads right here, so this exporter. So you just download that, run the, run the program. And once you've ran that program, I'm gonna show you what that's gonna be. First, I just wanna give a quick shout out to Sandro. You can actually just unlock this feature if you just pledge to him on Patreon. I'll leave the Patreon link down in the description below for him. Uh, that's a really easy way you can get search straight from there instead of doing it this way I do want to give the free to play option as well. So you guys know You know how to be able to do that as well uh, But I highly recommend the patreon way if possible if you have the means to do so So let's go ahead and I'll show you this. So once you download the program, you're gonna get this guy here so This program here is how you're gonna obtain your your file So let me just go ahead Send of this for you guys. All right, great. So what you need to obtain from here is gonna be the JSON file. That has all your rune data, your monster data, things of that nature. So the first step in doing so, go ahead and pull that up here. Okay, so the first step is you wanna start a proxy. So you're simply gonna click start proxy. And that's the first step, that's it. <laughs> it's pretty simple, so you're gonna set up the proxy. Okay, so after you've clicked start proxy, you're gonna to wanna to click get cert. So you click get cert, that's gonna copy the cert directly to your PC. Next step is you're simply gonna email that cert over to yourself, because you're gonna pull that up on your alternate tablet or device that you're going to use to connect to someone as well. So we're going to go ahead and email that over to us right now and we're going to flip over to the device and I'll show you on there. Okay, so we have our super old school device here. It's a tablet from like six years ago or something. It's, it's rather old. Um, I'm fairly certain there's some data that shows that older tablets or older devices, it's a little bit easier to do this on. Um, perhaps because the security is not as good, I'm not too sure. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and go to settings. After you go to settings, you're gonna go to security. From security, typically you have to go to other security settings, uh, but pretty much what you're looking for is certificates and credentials. So you're gonna go to credential storage and you're gonna click install from device storage. Now obviously this is after you've opened the email and downloaded that file that you sent yourself. So you're gonna go ahead and search for the file. You're gonna select the file, which is typically gonna be ca.perm. So you simply select the file, you click done. The certificate name is irrelevant, you can leave it as is. So it should say used for VPN, and then you're gonna hit okay. So that's gonna set up the certificate on your device. Okay. So now that we have the file downloaded on your device, your tablet, we're gonna go ahead and set up a proxy. So we're gonna flip back over to our uh, exporter program here. And what we wanna do is we wanna connect to the same internet that your PC is connected to and your device. So you're gonna flip to your device, you're gonna go to your settings, settings you're gonna to go to Wi-Fi 
then you're gonna long click um, whichever Wi-Fi your PC and your tablet are connected to you're gonna manage network settings advanced settings and then you want to set up a proxy so you're gonna click proxy you're gonna click manual and then you're gonna enter in this information right here so the proxy host name will be whatever the number is right here so you're just gonna type that in and then your proxy port you are gonna also type in your proxy port once you have those two typed in you're gonna hit save then we're gonna go ahead and open summoners war on your tablet if everything was done properly which it should have been you'll actually see the JSON file directly from here so let's And there we go. As you see right here, profile export, saved profile data, Rick Gasly, JSON. So there you go. Now you have your JSON file. Now that you have your JSON file, the next step is going to be to import that JSON file into the program, which is the Summoner's War Optimizer. That's a completely different program for a completely different video. I'm going to go ahead and do a guide to how to run your monsters how to pick teams and use that device to actually build proper monsters and proper teams that are speed tuned etc so i'm going to go ahead and work on that video next for you guys um, thank you so much for watching i hope this helped if you guys have any questions please leave it down in the comments below um, i'm going to do a couple videos for optimizing your runes and how to go ahead and import your json file so i'll show that off in the next video Thanks again for watching, and you guys have a great day.